Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we are going to be reviewing. Um, I don't like to do this and I've said this before, however they just came in. So, kind of will be a first impression, but I am going to play with them a little bit. But I got the Fenty Beauty and they're called the Snap Shadows where you can take two of them and snap them together and make one. So traveling, um, space, whatever, it just helps you, makes it easier, I guess, to have two palettes instead of one. I don't really care, <laughs> you know? I mean, if they all snap together, then maybe I could see it because you could just snap, they're all together in one. You know what I mean? Um... I guess it's cute as far as travel wise. I, I really, I don't know. I mean, to me again, uh, yeah, it keeps them together, but it doesn't keep them all together. And I'm going to travel with more than just two, to be honest with you. Um, the shades are cute. Each palette is, you know, different as far as that goes. Um, let me see about them here. Hold on just a second. Mm, I was just looking at them actually because I have four of them but I still have four more to go I think is how it is um yeah so there is eight total and I have one and four or one three four and one three four and five is what I have um so that leaves two six, seven, and eight. Yeah, that I don't have. So, there, number one is the true neutrals. I have that one. Number two would be the cool neutrals. I don't have that one. Three is the deep neutrals. I have that. Four is the rose. Of course, I have that. I love pink. Five is the peach. Love the peach. Six is smoky. Seven is cadet. And eight is pastel frost. So, I guess in a sense, I can see why you would snap some of these together and it would be all right to travel with because you would, some of these palettes, you would need another palette in order to create a, a, a look. Um, so, like I said, I do have one, three, four, and five. And they're cute. They're little, looks like this. This is number one. And they open like this, and it's got, it had a little plastic thing to sort of protect it. And um, I've ha actually already applied this one because I put my primer down and I had to put something down so it doesn't crease. Um, I'm old, so I have wrinkles, so I have to set it really quick. Um, but this... This one I could see, this is an everyday. You can't really mess up with this one, to be honest with you, as far as making a look. Um, you would probably need this palette, or uh, maybe three, to make like number seven, no, number eight work, because eight's the pastels. So you may even need it for six, seven, and eight, to be honest with you, but I'm not really for sure on it. Depends on the look you're creating also. Keep that in mind. I'm not a makeup artist, so I wouldn't even know, you know? But I will say the ones that I got, I do like. I have looked at them all. They are very pretty. I love them. Like I said, I am more of a rose peach type of person. Um, when it comes to looking at them and what's pleasing to me. So I, I do enjoy that. And I did get the one in the three just because of the neutrals in them for the crease color and stuff like that. I don't, one, I could see me wearing um, alone three, maybe. It's just really dark. And I'm not, I don't do well with dark colors trying to create looks because, again, I'm not a makeup artist. And they're really hard to play with, I'm not going to lie. Not the, not the shades, like, not the formula, just trying to create a look with a dark color and I don't think they look good on me darker colors um but that's just you know me maybe they do I don't know but when I look at myself 
I don't feel it. So therefore, if I don't feel it, you know, it's like I can't carry that look. But I can carry some of these looks, like three and four. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, four and five. So with that as said, let's play with some Fenty products. Now, I did play with the Fenty highlighter today. And I used Girl Next Door and Cheek Freak. So, I did play with that. No, I did not. I didn't play with that. Oh, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I did play with those. I didn't know that. See, I, I just forget. So, as you know, I don't edit. You see it from beginning to end. Bloopers, whether it looks good or not, you see it all. I think people forget what their channel should be about. And this should be about the makeup not the editing, not the filtering, not the, the the smoke and the lights and all that stuff. It's just not about that. Um, and I'm not saying it because I can't do it. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? But I am saying it because I really do believe it is about the makeup and the makeup alone. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and start playing because I'm so curious. I have actually never um, played with um, Fenty eyeshadows. I have seen them on sale. And I have thought about playing, you know, getting it, but I just never did. But when I saw those, these and they were $25 a piece, I thought, well, why not? Although when I think about it, I just spent $100. Well, no, because if you buy two, you get it for $45. So I spent $90. But I could probably have bought a palette, to be honest, because some of them, I think one of them is on sale, the Moroccan one, I think. So, <clears throat> um... Uh, you know, ignore the contour. I know it's bad. I'm trying to cover it as best I can. I don't know what I was thinking exactly. Uh, doing it. I was actually using a new brush that I had just received. Um, because like I said, I play with brushes and, and skincare and all that too. So, uh, keep that in mind. So really I wore a blue dress today and none of this really kind of goes with this. So it looks like I'm going to have to do like Maybe, like, some sort of neutral look. I don't know. I can't really see how I can throw pinks into this. Although, I would if I could. If I could figure out a way, I would. So, to start, I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the... I'm going to grab the Tom Ford crease brush. And I'm going to go in with um, number one. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here as my crease color. Oh, wow. We got pigment right off the bat. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it compared to this eye. But definitely got pigment right off the bat, I will say that. I thought about doing my eyes first and then the rest of my makeup. But here's the thing. <laughs> I'd hate to cut the video off right after I did my eyes, right? And I said I wouldn't edit. You'd see it from beginning to end. Well, if I did my whole makeup, it would take hours. Because something always happens. I gotta feed the kids. Or somebody's at the door. Or, or you know, something. Anything. And even though it's a Sunday, my fiance's out working. So, we're open 24-7. So, if I the phone rings, I gotta take it. You know, type of thing. And it's just like... It would just be crazy, to be honest with you. Alright, so... I mean, I, I do like this shade as far as that goes. I mean, it's a crease color, you know? Like, I mean, honestly, it's not like they're revolutionary as far as products go. Um, 
Yes, there's pigment. Yes, you get six shades for $25 if you buy them single. You do get to try the formula. I think that these companies are doing this at this price point. Obviously, so we can try them at a cheaper price and see if we like them. And they're hoping we like them so that we go for those bigger products. Um, there's a lot of things from each brand that I do like. But I have my favorites, you know. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't wear this or anything. Because I would um, out. But at the same time, my Natasha Denona palette, the nude or the new glam one, is probably going to give me just about the same look. Now, with Fenty, my favorite thing from them, I do like the highlighters. But my favorite is the... Um, the lip gloss and I have one in Fenty Glow and one in Fussy and I like them both equal I, you know, not one or the other they just I don't know they just do something they're they are nice um so that I would say is worth the money the eyeshadow I mean if you ain't got nothing that's these shades then yeah, they're they're good. They're blending nicely. They go on nicely. They're pigmented. I mean, I, I really can't say too much about it. All right, I'm gonna go into this darker shade now. Right here, and I'm oh they do have the names on the back. Okay, so. Afro Ghetto? Are you kidding me? I was using Come Get It. Nookie Rookie. Simmer Down. Kill and I. Velvet Cuffs. Is the rest of the names. Are you? I'm not. I would have issues with that beyond belief. And I'm just putting that right there. Um, I'm running that color actually through my actual crease. Again, I have hooded eyes, so it's really, really hard for me to do eyeshadow, to be honest with you, because of that. But it's really not about my technique or the color, or like what colors I choose or anything like that. It's about you know, how well do they work? How well do they blend? Or, you know, that type of thing. And they, they blend nicely. They work nicely. I mean, I like them. They're very, they can't, you can build this color. I just, I, again, I don't go that dark. If I did, I just think I would look really, I don't think I would look good. I'm not going to lie at all. But I mean, I can I can try to build it up for you a little bit. And again, I don't have the technique like I said, so I, please understand that that I'm just like a consumer of makeup, almost like most people. You know, we do the best we can with what we got. We can watch tutorials at the same time on it, but 
are I mean, you're not going to get to see it from beginning to end anymore. I just feel like everybody's just about the editing. and I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think I got them both the same. I'm not even for sure, to be honest. Like, my eyes are both completely different because I got a lazy eye. I don't exactly know when I got to. Probably when I started to be lazy. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. And I have astigmatism. So, like, what I see may not actually be what it is. Because, like, I, I have to wear glasses. And I don't do contacts. I just can't. I've tried. It doesn't work for me. But, I mean, it's just not the same. Um, I think... For my inner part, I'm going to go in with velvet cuffs. And, wow. Alright, I didn't even spray it with water. I'm using a Bobbi Brown angled shadow brush to apply it. Also, what I really, really wanted to do was um, do this look when I actually had, um, I was going to order her brushes also, but I just, because I like to use the shadows with the people, you know, who create, who, with the brushes they make. Not to say, you know, because they don't say to use the brush to apply the eyeshadow. It's just me. Just me. Something I like to do. But, again, I did not apply any kind of setting spray, water, nothing to my brush. And, wow. Is really all I can say is wow. I'm impressed. Like that is a really, really good shade. I'm just gonna go back in with that first brown that I had just to sort of make sure that's there. It's really nice. I like that. I think I want to go into Simmer Down as my inner corner highlight. And for that, I'm going to use the Morphe M574. And again, I'm not going to apply water or setting spray. I'm just going to try to put that in my inner corner. Hmm. Now, this isn't doing as good dry as that other color. And it could be the brush. It could be any number of things. But I don't think it applied as good. I'm going to put that up here as my highlight. Ignore the brows. They're crazy today, too. I've... Long night. Long night. I'm going to go ahead and spray this brush, though. Just because I feel like I can get a better payoff with this. And I want that inner corner. <laughs> I'm just going to use the Morphe spray. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now we're talking. Or I feel like it a little bit. It's not, it's still not like bam in your face, but it's much, much better now. And then for my load of blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk today. All right. For the lower lash line, I'm going, I'm going to take um, Tom Ford number 14 and go in with that first shade and just put that under my lower lash line. Oh, wow. This is a newer brush I just got and it is so soft. I mean, so, so soft. But. Get under that lower lash line at least. Same thing on this eye. I've done something to this eye on the side. I don't know what I did to it. So I know I'm gonna get a if if anybody watches this video, a lot of comments on this one. But I was in the truck with my fiance. And it's a automatic and it's a truck that like, um, it's an old, older truck. Um, but like the seat is all one and, uh, he was driving and I was a passenger. Well, I dropped my phone and I didn't want him to step on it cause it fell on his side and I had bent down to get it. And when I did, I had hit the, um, gear shifter which is right on the steering wheel. I just went bam like that. I had a big old bruise there. Um, and a knot, by the way. So, you know, people always say, oh, I walked into a door with a bruise, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I, I uh, got, I bumped into the gear shifter. Well, we can tell, I could tell you where his mind was going that I should have said, you know? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to start telling people. That's what that's what I was doing, you know? I was like, I think not. But thank you, come again. And uh, I was like, it's just my luck. So that heals, right? Then I've done something to the side, to the corner of it. I don't know what I have done with it, but it hurts. And um, then I, what did I do yesterday? Like, I'm just having a time. I'm like, I, I, I just don't even know. Like, I, I don't even know what I'm thinking half the time. I'm just like, what is going on here, you know? All right. So, anyway, it's just been one thing after another, I feel like. I guess this is good enough. I don't know. I feel like I've used most all but one shade in the palette. Oh, what the hell? Let's put it on the lower lash line. The last shade. We'll put it right, right with that uh, one. It's kind of shimmery, but who cares? Right? I don't. I always do stupid stuff anyway. Might make the color look better. You never know. Alright. So. I'm going to 
take this Real Techniques brush and just sort of brush away anything under my eye. Alright, my under eyes look horrible. The concealer and stuff. I don't know what I had done. I've never had issues with... Oh. I know what I'd done. It was the powder. And I used a darker powder than I should have. I know what I'd done. I remember now. That's what I did. I used to be so dark. Now I'm so white. Um, it's kind of kind of sad to be honest but before I um really started getting into this and when I get into something like I put my all into it right I tanned and yes I know it's not good for you I know but I did it and I got so dark I mean so dark and I have like all these foundations now that I can't even use because they're way too dark I mean some of them like no big deal because I really didn't care for them but some of them I did like. And now I just can't wear them because it's just too dark. Way too dark for me. And uh, like I said, I don't know exactly what to do with them yet. But I gotta do something with them. Ow. Pinched me. That's all I need. I really do need a new, um, this is a Sephora one, and I got it because this is supposed to be for hooded eyes, and it was supposed to be, um, oh, and it was purple, <laughs> I couldn't think, um, pink and purple is my thing, so, like, I would, I, that's why I got it, really, because of those two reasons, but it sucks, so I don't get it, at the, it it's Sephora brand, blah, 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 Sephora's brand, I don't even know if they still carry it, but it sucks. And I'm using the Thrive uh, Cosmetics Mascara Extended Lash ex Lash Extensions. No, Liquid Lash Extension. And I like it. I, this is the second day I think I've worn it. Maybe third. But I have other, seen other people wearing it. And I'm like, oh, I so need that. And it really is good. And you can get it at Thrive Cosmetics or at Ulta now. But I believe you got to go in store to buy it. At least I had to. This is what my lashes look like with, sorry for the quiet, but this is what my lashes look like with just one coat. I'm going to go ahead back in and do another coat. Don't do that at home. Create your own mole. There you go. No. Mm -mm. 
With Alfail, though, I've always said no matter what I do, if I don't mess up on the application of, like, applying my makeup, whether the shade's off for foundation or I mess up on contouring or something, I'm going to mess up with the mascara. Don't you worry. And then for the lower lash line, I am going to use the MAC Giga Black. And this is really the best that it gets today because it just is. And then I have this one long eyelash right here, right there. I, I don't understand. Like, I don't have it on the other side. I've checked. Because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> I check. But, um, I, I don't know why it's there. But it, it is very, very, very long eyelash. And if you got better eyelashes than me, so you can see that what it can do, like it can really bring your eyelashes, bam, you know. So if you got longer eyelashes than me, or I don't know, you you are better at applying mascara than me, then you can make it, you know, look really good. But again, you wouldn't think mascara would be that hard to grasp, I guess, in a sense, but. It kind of is. I mean, there's so many ways to apply it that it's just crazy in a sense, you know? And, I mean, I try. To apply it, like... Mm, what? This ain't. I mean, it's coming off, but not as good as I thought. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to take my... Let's see. There we go. But, um, oh no, that's the darker shade. But, I mean, I would just, if you don't have these, if you don't have these shades, then it, it's worth $25 a palette. If you do have these shades, however, in another palette it's nothing you know altering here it's eyeshadow um is it good yes it's good eyeshadow is it worth 25 dollars yeah it's worth 25 dollars you're not just you know paying for the name um but it's not something you really have to run out and get i mean yeah they're cool they snap but a, only two snap together at a time. That's it. And, I mean, is it easy to store at that point? Sure. Like, I can just, like a book, I can just store them. But, I really didn't even need them, to be honest with you. Like I said, I have these shades in Natasha's palettes. Um, uh, I have these shades, it, probably in Marc Jacobs, actually, too. 
So, now the pastel one, that one's a little different. Cadet. That one's a little different, too, but I'm trying to think. I've seen it before, and I know I have. Uh, it is still a little different, though. But, I, get, I mean, I just, it, it's really up to you if you support the brand. I love Rihanna. I think she is, like, bad. Um, from music to the makeup, even. You know, that's cool. She's ventured out. And she's beautiful. I mean, she's a beautiful woman. So, she does make beautiful products. So, really, it's what you want to do with your money. Obviously, you see what I do with my money. I can't stop. I can't control myself. Um, but I'm that friend for you that does that. So, you can see and say, nah. Um, and if you want me to try a different shade, a different palette, I would be glad to. If there's another palette that you can think of that you'd like me to try, I can do that also. Uh, just let me know. Um, I may already have it even, but if not, I will go purchase it. But leave me some comments so that, you know, I can interact with you. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Ring the bell. Hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload videos. I'm going to try to get you a schedule together. I just, I haven't really got there yet. Um, because technically I get ready every day. The question is, is what do you really want to see every day? Do you want to see like a full face of makeup or, you know, do you want to see my throw it on and go kind of makeup? Um, or both, you know, uh, I don't care to record seven days a week. I think it'd be kind of cool to do that. So, but leave me a comment, let, you know, so that I can interact with you and we can learn together, grow together. And maybe one day we can be perfect at doing our makeup and not feel like, mm, you're me. Yeah, don't get too close. Don't get too close, you know. Uh, I'm still working on false lashes. Um, I suck at it, so it's a whole other story, though. But I hope you guys have a safe weekend, what's left of it. And you have a good week that week that's coming up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.